boost your tech career. The high demand job that you can't afford to miss. Looking for a job in the tech world? Oh, well, you might want to become a prompt engineer for chatbots like ChatGPT. So there's a lot of criticism and rightfully so, but these chatbots often spit out misinformation. And that's where the prompt engineers come in. They're the ones that are supposed to push the limits, address issues, and figure out what is going right and what is going wrong with these systems. So one of the primary tasks for a prompt engineer on a large language model is to test the logical reasoning. Tweaking prompts, seeing if you can mess with it in such a way that it doesn't understand what you're asking anymore or spits out an illogical response. It's actually more of like a human psychological job than you'd think, because they're trying to identify some of the subtle flaws in the language that comes out of a generative model, and then also give the correct feedback that's needed to train the model in the future to learn from that mistake. And with the growing focus on AI chatbots, it's no surprise that some people are saying that the hottest new programming language in tech is English. Shocking AI impact, 80% of jobs to change forever. So a lot of research recently has gone into how these large language models like ChatGPT are going to impact the job market. And they found that probably about 80% of the entire workforce will have a small portion of their jobs affected, roughly around 10%. And that a much lower 19% of the market will have about half of their jobs, 50% of their tasks automated. Now, the study also expects that this will happen across all income levels, but actually with the higher income jobs being more exposed. Now, AI's biggest impact is expected on industries like data processing services, publishing and insurance carriers with less of an impact on food manufacturing and agriculture. So they expect that the large language models will make about 15% of all tasks faster. But when you add in software tools that are built on top of large language models, the estimates get much fuzzier, but that could raise the percent to about 47%. Can't find a job? Well, discover how artificial intelligence might just change your life. So there's been a lot of tech layoffs recently, and you might not be surprised to find out that some of them have decided to start artificial intelligence companies to help people who don't have tech jobs find tech jobs. Large language models like ChatGPT can be great at reading lots of text and summarizing it. That works for both a resume and for somebody's entire digital history. And there's business models where you don't even need to charge the actual person who's looking for the job, but you can take money on the back end by charging the job seekers that can be companies, universities, career coaches, or boot camps. However, some of the incumbents are interested in doing stuff like this too, and they do have competition. Like Resi, Teal, CareerFlow, OneCrate, Grammarly, Resume Builder, and of course, LinkedIn. Now, especially keep in mind LinkedIn, because the founder, Reid Hoffman, is not only extremely close to OpenAI and Sam Altman, the CEO, but his company was acquired by Microsoft, and Microsoft is integrating OpenAI's technology into everything as fast as possible. And there's no way that they haven't looked at the biggest social network that they own, which is LinkedIn, and think, how can we get this technology, this large language model, integrated? But the fact is, AI is a great tool for connecting the millions of skilled people who are looking for jobs to the millions of job openings that companies need to fill. Can artificial intelligence finally eliminate the gender bias in hiring? So some argue that actually eliminating bias completely from any kind of artificial intelligence system might be a Herculean task, close to impossible. And the reason is, is that artificial intelligence is amazing at finding patterns, patterns that no human could ever find in large amounts of data. And those patterns almost always will have some way to infer the gender of the candidate. And a reasonable first step is for companies to blind their systems. What? For example, one AI-based system is not looking at any kind of data from resume or social media or anything else that could impact those patterns, and instead asking the candidates to answer five questions by text and keeping the system blind to any other information. And just from those answers, not knowing whoever's typing on the keyboard on the other side, it generates a score, a trait profile, and a personality report. Now, some early results have shown that women can be twice as likely to stay in the hiring process when using AI technology that's blinded like this. Are manual jobs safe from the AI revolution? Well, Goldman Sachs has a new report, and they think that the equivalent of 300 million full-time jobs could be eliminated worldwide. Now they think in the US that about two thirds of jobs will face some level of automation with about 20 to 25% of their workload being replaced by AI. And they estimate that about a quarter of the work tasks that are done now in the US could be automated. Industries like office support, legal professions, architecture, engineering, life sciences, and business operations might be the most affected. Now manual and outdoor jobs for the most part should see less of an impact. So for the average person, it's not time to worry yet. 
because the report suggests that only about 7% of the entire US workforce is actually at risk of having their entire job automated away. Like while about 63% of the workforce would actually have the job just helping them automating away some of their tasks, but the job should be safe complementing their work, they say, and about 30% completely unaffected. And this Goldman Sachs report comes hot off the heels of OpenAI's own research saying about 19% of jobs would be affected. Never forget a task again, the AI AR Memory Rewind. Here are three ways that augmented reality and artificial intelligence will transform the workplace. First is improved inclusivity. So a hybrid workplace in the future might just feel like being in the same room with somebody. So say goodbye to video conferences and hello to 3D surround sound, augmented people, and all of the nonverbal communication that comes along with that kind of a setting. And the second is better data presentations. Now data management might be more effective. Imagine just like looking at a refrigerator or a filing cabinet and asking about what's inside. But the more powerful use case would be looking at a document and having that kind of information actually rendered into a 3D file, something that you could look at from all dimensions, something that could be augmented to who you are using artificial intelligence. We've already seen the beginning of this generative AI from text to 3D image. Imagine how it could evolve. And third would be recorded augmented interactions. So right now, has anyone ever told you something and you kind of like spaced out or forgot? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> My girlfriend calls it the girlfriend channel and I tend to turn it down sometimes. But imagine in an augmented reality situation, if you forget, you just hit rewind. Maybe you watch the same interaction again from a third person point of view. You zoom into the information that was recorded or you let an artificial intelligence clean up the transcript. So something that came out a little bit garbled or muffled in real life might be cleaned up for understanding. So then you can go back to the person with your task completed and it looks like you were paying attention the whole time.